This is the summer of Momo, where you just be able to check all your stuff off your bucket list. Wow. Meet with mom. Meet with baby dad. Blase, blase. Well, the blase, blase is ring shopping, sizing. Okay. We're going great. Drew and I are finally getting along, and Cam is amazing as always. But as of recent, I've been focusing on my love life. My mystery man and I met about seven months ago while I was on the road doing a hosting. So far, we've been able to make it work long distance. But every day, my affections grow fonder, my vagina grows hotter, and we fall more and more in love, madly in love. I'm in love with none other than Richie D. So I'm just at a place in my life where I feel like it's time for me to reboot my music career and I'm ready to build a future with someone. And Richie D happens to be very smart. He's actually a really good listener. And I like his sausage. Slaughter. Richie D. What up, Momo? You're here. I'm here. I can't believe As you I finally told you made I would it. Be. Yeah, you got grills? Mm -hmm. Let me see. What are those? Baby, because I'm a thug. No, you're not, you know? Yes, I am. Give me a kiss. I told you I was coming. I'm here. Love you. Love you, too. I didn't see this coming. When I met Monice, I fell in love with her sense of humor, and I kind of knew she was going to be around for a while. I'm at the point that I want something real, and I think that this could be it. I mean, I'm almost an old man now, so I'm growing up finally. I can't believe you came. Give me for a minute. Where are you staying? By me? Yes? Good. Let's go. We have to figure Date it out. Date night. Look at the... Oh, my God. Meet Dallas. It's our He's first not baby. He's not ready. He's not ready. It's our first baby. Girl, you better get in this goddamn van. I've been around, believe me, but I've never met a girl like Monique. She's smart as a whip, and she gets me like nobody ever has. I just can't get enough of this girl. You're here, and I can't wait to spend time with you, and tonight is date night, FYI. Movies. Mm-hmm. Dinner. Set. That's what I was saying, homegirl. I want to do it with my grill in my mouth. Mm. No sex with the grill. Yo, you really got a grill in. <laughs> Yo, you're insane. Let's go. <laughs> it's going to be a long week. Mm-hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm really falling for Moniz. In all my days of you heffing around, I never thought I'd catch these type of feelings for a woman. Don't mess up my hair, Rich. What up, Ramomo? Welcome. Casa de Dallas. <laughs> Let's go outside. We got a little situation set up for you. Super cute. Aww. Have a seat. I love you. This week, I'm testing the waters to see if me and Momo have what it takes to make this a long-term thing. But tonight, it's time for a long overdue dinner for two and a little Momo for dessert. You're here. In the now flesh. In the no flesh. more FaceTime. No more FaceTime. Are you going to stay forever? I'm going to stay for a week. I got this place for a week. <laughs> Baby steps. This is all, this whole thing is, is, it's new. You understand? Having a girlfriend. So this is a trial See, week. No, it's not a trial week. I love you to death. It's not a no, trial no, week. No, but, but I, you know that I want you to move here. Hopefully. Let's see what happens after a week. Let's address this again at the end of the week. I must admit, Rich's reputation as a member of the New York Creep Squad definitely precedes him, but Creepy Rich is pew, pew, dead and gone, sister. I'm definitely not your average Build-A-Bitch that Rich is used to dating in the past, so if he wants to be with me, he's gonna have to do things the right way, which is my way. And I don't see that being a problem because he definitely knows that I'm worth it. You've got to meet my family. And you've got, we have to talk about how we're gonna integrate Cameron into this whole situation. I can't live with you and not live with Cameron. He's got the candles, the rose petal, the fancy dinner. It's very, very, very sexy. And all of a sudden it takes this ill turn to the left. What is going on right now? Mom, Cameron, 
I'm, I'm not opposed to any of that. All that should come in time. Well, I have a question. Shoot. You know how I feel about babies and not really wanting anymore. So I was thinking maybe you should have a vasectomy. What? <laughs> I'm like, why are you up my moment? Like, what are you doing right now? You trying to make me, like, my, my oh. not get no, so you I wanted to get out. No, you I don't, because the that you're talking about is Why are you yelling? The that you're, you're yelling. Just, the that you're talking about is that keeps on sore. Okay, fine, let's start over. No, we can't. Yeah, we can start over. No, we can't. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Yes, we can. I know I can be a lot to handle, but for the sake of getting our romantic dinner back on track, I can press pause on all the heavy stuff, but we definitely need to have this conversation sooner rather than later. Thank you, Muffin. They're coming mm. all this way. For the second you my I love you. <laughs> Momo can be wacky as hell sometimes, talk about neutering your boy and meeting the moms and all. But overall, she's been putting in big effort to keep me happy, especially in the bedroom. Richie D. The more time we hang out, the more I fall for this girl. But if we're really going to be serious, there's just this one thing I got to get off my chest. So we're contemplating this serious, serious relationship. So now we're just contemplating? I thought no. we were serious, serious. No. Listen to, can I finish? I'm here in LA. Mm -hmm. I'm with my Momo D. You know what bothers me, though? That tat. No, oh, that tat bothers me, my G. It Why? bothers me because it's like, because I'm looking at you, and as we're being intimate, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm sharing you with the guy that's on your hip. But you're not. I got to go, Holmes. So I got this tattoo on my hip when I was 18 of my first partner, first boyfriend, first for everything, and I never covered it up, so I don't really see why it's such a big deal. But I grew a baby a with a baby daddy, and I he know. felt some type of way, and I didn't cover it up. No, so I mean, what you saying? You comparing the two? The tattoo really shouldn't be that big of a deal, but since it bothers Rich so much, I'm waving my white flag, I'm giving in, and I'm getting rid of it. But homeboy better be making some concessions, too. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, just like you you and this is permanent this is a forever kind of love so I will oblige you because I love you and I will cover it and now that I've agreed to cover up the tattoo I'm thinking you should stay forever I should have known Moniz had something up her sleeve if she was gonna go back under the gun for me. I mean, I'm in love, and I'm definitely down for the ride, but the word forever is just not quite in my vocabulary. So far, so good. I'm by Coastal right now. I don't like And it. we're working on making this a much bigger situation. I know it will help you make the decision so much faster. A high-performance snap box session. Indeed. So let's get to it. Rich has expressed that this tiny tattoo on my hip is really bothering him. So, in the interest of our loving relationship and in the best interest of me getting my ring, I'm gonna go ahead and oblige him. So, the cover up we're doing? It's on my hip. Okay. It's my ex's initial, All right. like a little crown. So, I wanna do like a butterfly. Cool, do you want to come over on back here? Um, sure. Check out the size, placements, and all that. This is definitely a game of tit for tat. So I'm hoping that he'll give me something that I want from him, which is him in LA forever with me and my ring and my house, Lord Jesus, because I need it all. Before I get my tattoo, I have a question. What? Why is it so important to you that I cover this up? Honestly? I didn't care if you did, because if you said no, I would have to be okay with that, right? But the fact that you would lets me know where your mind's at. It lets me know that- Yeah, that, that my mind and my heart are with you. Heart, and they're in a good place. So let's knock that out. But I'm not done yet. He's ready. So, but wait. I'm well, serious, so, he's ready. I know, but seriously, I'm gonna do this, because like I said, my heart and my mind are with you. I'm hoping that your heart and your mind are with me. So I want to move in together. What? Yo, this is not even an even trade. You getting old tattoo covered up definitely don't mean we about to sign this lease together. I ain't ready to move in with nobody. Do you hear this? So 
I'm... You can, no, seriously, do you condone this? No, that's a big decision. This is a big decision, too. This is a permanent, never going yeah, away. You're good, You though. can move out of a no, house. No, seriously, you're good. So, in you're other words, on, really what's it. important to me in we'll moving discuss, forward we'll dis we'll with our relationship... Okay, have we decided yay or nay on the tattoo? Oh, the tattoo's happening. Okay. Before all this other is new, what if that tattoo don't happen. Let's get the stencil on and then we can discuss the house later. She has to stand up to do this, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Even trade. Yo, can he get to work? Oh my God, you're still talking. Clearly, Rich is not thinking about all the advantages of me moving in. There's midweek menages, skinny dipping in the hot tub. I mean, with me, the possibilities are endless. I just need to get him at the right moment, and I know that he'll be on the same page as me in no time. So we're gonna have your head on this yeah. side, and your hip. Wait, my cookie was out. Would you like a <laughs> of a cookie? Rich, you can come home to a <laughs> of a cookie every night, baby. Freshly waxed little sugar cookie. This is the face of uncomfortable. Do you want gingerbread cookies, Daddy? Am I just supposed to be cookie? over here? Is this against, against federal regulations for me to be over here while she gets what's going on? <laughs> See, there you go. Wait, wait, yeah, just answer the question. Real. <laughs> you left me. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll? I pushed a baby out of my vagina. I can do this. So after the first week here with Momo, I went back to New York, and you know what? I couldn't stop thinking about her. So I decided to go ahead and take the plunge. She's been bugging me to get a place together, and if we're gonna be serious, these are the types of steps that need to be taken. So I had to find me a place, and here I am. Are you happy? Look at this. Am I happy? I'm over I'm enjoyed. LA. Cartwheels. So Rich and I moving in together is a big step. So big, it tickles my fancy. But this is just the start. So if Rich is gonna prove to me that I'm not one of these hood rats from his past, then we have even bigger steps ahead of us. Who would have thought? Well, I'm really happy, and I'm even happier that we're going to dinner with my mom. Surprise! And I don't want to do that. Why? Well, because, I mean, you banged me, and I'm in love with you, and because I'm trying to repair the relationship with my mother, and I'm trying... Richard, they're stuck together. What? I'm trying to involve her in my life, and I'm trying to mend the oh-so-tumultuous relationship that we have. So, basically... I volunteered you. I'm not so sure about meeting Monisa's mom. Mo's hinted to me that things are complicated with Mom Dukes. Dinner with Monisa's mom is not my idea of a perfect evening out, but then again, Mo's got me doing a bunch of stuff that I never thought I'd do. I need to know what's going on between you and your mom before you set me up. Just so many things have transpired. I eat like, come on. I feel like she played a really big role in me losing custody of Cameron. She says she didn't play a part in that, but she never showed up to support me in court. So we never really got over that hump. And then when we were in mediation, baby daddy felt like one of the main reasons we didn't work out was because of my mom. Why am I doing this dinner? Because it sounds to me like maybe you and your mother should have a couple of more dinners. I'm trying to extend the olive branch by allowing her to meet with you because that's what she asked. Well, listen, we meet your moms, we hang out, we have a couple of drinks, we chit chat. It is what it is. So besides my muffin Cameron, I have the two most important people in my life meeting for the very first time. And I'm hoping that all goes well tonight so we can walk away from this center alive and as one big happy family. Thank you for agreeing to meet my mother. I'm extremely nervous. Against my better judgment, I'm here. That's good. You should be here. Hello. Hello, Hello. mother. Hey. Rich, Hi, how are mother, you? Mother Rick. How are you? Why don't, we, why don't we do a handshake first? Yes. And then we'll progress from there. My mom and I are repairing our relationship, and as far as Rich is concerned, it's really important because I know he doesn't normally do this type of thing. So to see him step outside of his comfort zone makes me love him that much more. Hi, Rich. Hi. I'm Marla. I'm Marla. Richard. Is it Richard or is it Richie Dollars? Dollars. So right away, I just have so many things on my mind. It's just who I am. I right away. Have. Come on with him. All right. I'm ready. So what would we classify this relationship? Are you dating? Yes, absolutely. I mean, are you really dating? Let me just, let me put this out here. OK. I'm not going to lie. Once I even heard wind of your name, mm -hmm. there's a reputation. 
you know what? What is that reputation? That, you know, dude, come on. The, what is that reputation? Because a player, I mean... And to be honest with you, if you have that reputation, is there a future? How do we move past the concern and get into cheers? Could you please allow me to talk to Rich? You're 40 and I'm 47. About to be 40. Right, so that makes us kind of peers and her still young. Can I just call you 40? Since for, Absolutely. for, for a round off. Knock yourself out. Good. And we might as well call her 30. Because I'm, I'm all about rounding to the and highest number, so you're technically 50. What? We can do this, or we can do this. Okay, I did my research, and the first thing that jumps out at me is that Rich has been arrested for not paying his child support. I don't even know why he put dollar on the end of his name, because he's certainly not giving them to his kids. And I was a little concerned, and you can address this however you like. The child support thing came up during my investigation, and that's a big thing for me. Let's move on from that. No, we can't move on, because now you've opened Pandora's box, and, that's, and now I'm offended, because at the I've end of the day- I've offended you? Absolutely. I don't know you. You don't know me to question my relationships. Marla's child support comment was a jab, and it was below the belt. She's speaking about something she knows nothing about. My face has been plastered all over the blogs for this child support issue. But what people don't know, I could have sent my child to Fisk University with the amount of child support I paid this year alone. So I've been more than taking care of my baby's mom and my child. Not that Marla would know anything about that. I don't understand how one can sit at a table and judge based on some internet drama when your relationship with your daughter is pretty much did you just meet me? I'm laying with this woman and listening to her issues on why she doesn't have the relationship that she wants with her mother. Before we can cast stones, we need to recognize the type of house we live in. Uh-huh. And if it's glass, you might want to refrain. Well, mine's not glass. It's concrete. So why don't you find out? I don't have uh -huh. to figure out anything. I'm a grown man. I can go back to New York tomorrow and live life. I was really hoping that for one night, my mom could put her guns away and get along with somebody who's really important to me, but... I guess not. Uh, really, Marie? Yeah, really. This whole thing is about to be for nothing. For me, this was supposed to be a few people getting to know one another. I wasn't looking to go deep into my past and for you to question my relationships because if your daughter's happy, then under them circumstances, you should be happy as well. Thank you for agreeing to meet me. I'm going to take what you've given me as a start. And I'm going to take what you've given me and make it an end. So things in my life should be wonderful right now. Rich and I are building. Oh, what's wrong? I'm mega annoyed. Alas, the sunshine is gone, and the dark cloud that is my mother is back. And I don't know if she's trying to sabotage my relationship to Richie D and my relationship to my child at the same time, but I would really like to think that she isn't. Just a week ago, we were fine. All of the sudden, you sit down with her and we're not fine. But I don't know we're not fine until you come back and tell me, Mom Duke said X, Y, Z. I don't know that we're not fine until I have this whole emotional breakdown with the father of my child who says, your mom told me to take you back to court to get full custody. Y'all is so crazy, it's like, it's insane. She comes to me and she says, like, although I was, appeared to be defending my daughter or in my daughter's corner, I was really telling you that you might want to run. What mother tells their daughter's baby's father to take her to court for full custody? Like, that's real. Like, that's some, there's some real damaging This bad blood between Monique and her mom, it runs deep, and it's clearly taken a toll on both of them through the years. But as someone trying to get her career off the ground and really, really needs help taking care of her son, Monique needs Marla in her corner. If my friend was out there talking I got to address it. I got to figure out why. Like, Ma, what are you doing? That's insane. Clearly she doesn't care, so why should I? But why would you not want to know her motive? I don't. I don't want to know why, because I'm not going to get the truth. You got to figure this out, because this is going to damage you. No. I think, yo, honestly, I think you should. No. I hate, hate her. It's too early for the <laughs> monies. Oh, come on, come on. This right here is crazy that you act like you can lay in bed and be like, yeah, I'm good on it. Ah, oh, it's not that serious. Ah, oh, her, one big <laughs> you. And then you break down like this. I hate her. So I know, much. I get it. I know. This is it's unheard of to me that a mother and daughter would have this kind of relationship. It's almost impossible for me to believe that she's intentionally 
doing these things to hurt me. Everything in me wants to feel like or believe that she just doesn't know any better. It's like, yo, address this Cam, this is like the longest swing of my life. I like to tuck and roll, that's my thing. Tuck and roll, that's your thing? Ever since my emotional breakdown or breakthrough, whatever you want to call it, with Drew, things with me and him have been a lot easier and it's made it easier for me to deal with him in terms of Cameron. What's up, boy? What's up? Now that he understands some of the things that I've been dealing with, and now that he's being more supportive, the end result, I've been spending more time with my muffin, and it's been really nice. I wanted to start off by saying thank you, and I appreciate you, you know, stepping up being here more, because I'm starting to see a difference in y'all relationship, you know? So, in saying that, I want us to try to come up with a little something more consistent for the both of us, mm -hmm. more so for Cameron. So let's just go back to week on, week off. But I also want us to honor this. All right, baby daddy, I got you. And I really appreciate this talk. Also, I have something else I want to ask you, because I know this weekend you briefly mentioned that you were picking up your boyfriend and Cameron, you know, was with you. So mm -hmm. I wanted to know how serious that was because, you know, if somebody's going to be around my son, I need to know. Well, it's definitely serious. Like, really, they're not just dating. Y'all are in an actual relationship. I'm not locked in until I'm married, but yes, I am committed to the relationship and inevitably going to have to integrate he and Cameron. I'm glad that Monice is finally in a happy relationship, but my son is still very young and very impressionable. I don't know Rich personally, but it's a lot out there about this guy, so I need to see for myself. I have heard what I heard in the media about him, and I don't like to pass judgment on anybody, but when it comes to Cameron, and his safety and security, I need to know what's around. I absolutely feel like you should be able to put a face to the person that I eventually intend to blend families with. Well, if somebody's gonna be in my son's life and be an influence, I definitely need to sit down with him face to face. Drew definitely has the right to meet Rich if Rich is gonna be around Cameron. I just don't know how Rich is gonna feel about sitting down with my baby daddy. All our sit downs so far haven't really gone so well. But if he's serious about being with me, then sitting down with Drew is just something he's gonna have to do. So I'll talk to Rich and I'll try to set something up. Well, let me know when it's set up. All right. Let's get this boy some ice cream or something. Why are you moving? Because I got to get to the no, grape. the grape is going in your mouth. It's not. You're not going to... After talking to Drew, hopefully when he sits down with Rich, he'll see the competent and trustworthy man that I believe Rich to be. I just hope that Rich is okay with meeting Drew because Drew is always going to be a part of my life and I definitely need the two of them to get along. Yo, how did we get here? How did we get here? Because <clears throat> this is like, this is where we are. We don't even bang it out like crazy anymore. It's like we're already married. Things are getting pretty serious. So it's time for a serious conversation. So I talked to Drew. We were out with Cammy, and he wants to meet you. And Did I feel like what? so he was just kind of like, you know, I've heard some things, and he was like, I just want to meet him and feel out the man that's gonna be the male figure in his son's life whenever he's not around. And for me, it's just one more testament, you know, of how serious you are. This is mine. Okay. I hear what you're saying. But what we're not going to do is have me in another situation like I was with your mom. Where I'm being, because what I'm not doing is explaining stuff that happened on the internet to another dude. Like to your mom, okay, I get, but another dude, now I'm starting to feel away. Like I'm not out here to be interrogated. Yo, this is getting to be too much. I love Moniz, but I feel like I'm going through hoops trying to please her left and right. Especially when I keep hearing what people have heard about me. Yo, true story, I'm through defending myself. So I don't see the point in continuing on. If you don't have intentions on making this a forever thing, then you're right. You don't need to go sit with my baby daddy. Out of a hundred things that I've done, you can actually sit here and say, well, well if, if you don't plan on being together, everything I've done thus far would indicate that that's what it is. So therefore, meeting your baby father, is, it's not all or nothing, Mo. It's not all or nothing. I'm For not, me it I'm is not obligated. Well, then it's not going to work. I so know, then maybe I don't need to meet your baby I father. Know where I because sitting be. here and, and everything you feel like is obligation, I'm obligated to do everything you've asked me to do. When I've asked you to do nothing, I would venture to say that me being out here across the country, starting off, two, meeting mom, three, all the other stuff that's happened since then. 
So if meeting your baby father is just one of the, another thing that I'm gonna do to show you that I'm here, I will do it. But I will not allow this to explode in my face. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Rich, but he should be supporting me and he should want to meet my son's father. If Rich and Drew can't play nice, then that's a problem for Rich because Drew's not going anywhere. I don't care what he says to you that angers you. If it goes left and you decide to handle it a certain way, then this relationship is over. That's all I need to hear. I'm going to play basketball, so I'll handle it how I want to handle it. At the end of the day, I'm feeling like Monice is starting to take advantage. I don't feel like I need to be sitting with nobody's baby father. Like, at the end of the day, that's your relationship. That's how y'all get down. I already did this once with Marla, and I'm not looking forward to a repeat. What's up, man? Playboy, what up? What's up? How you? Hi. And believe me, if there's another man sitting across from me who's not coming correct, it could get ugly real quick. Word. Man, I wanted to come holler at you, you know, because obviously Monice has mentioned you. You know what I mean? Right. I only know so much about you from what I hear on, you know, media and all the other stuff. Yeah, that's not who I am. And like, I came here today to give you peace of mind, because I'm sure you had your reservations. Right. I'm sure you wanted to iron out as a man, right. as a man. So I'm not even going front. I was like, yo, is this going to get, like, is this calling me, like, to, to, to come at me sideways or something? not. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Before we get into that, I want to get your intake on where your relationship is really going. I love her to death. Like, she's a good girl. I mean, she got a with her. Believe me, I know. I mean, I mean you know that. Right. But I'm here to see if it works. I'm here to, to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But um, I can't guarantee that. If you don't feel like that's where you really going with her, then I would just appreciate when y'all spend time now, my son not necessarily be around. I got kids, so I understand where you coming from. You don't want him meeting me and not next to me. In and out his life. In and out, I exactly. Don't and I, can I can appreciate that. I just have to establish that, though. All you right. feel me? So, because yeah, so. that is my kid. Right. So I got to make sure whoever is around him isn't being that full-on influence because I'm his father. If he around me, what's up, little man? We cool. We kicking it. I'm uncle. I don't, I don't want to be your father. This, right. is, this is you and Monisa's situation. So y'all handle that. Now, if I'm around, then it's, it's whatever. Like, I'm going to treat him like he mine. Treat him like yours so it's time to discipline. No, I don't want to discipline <laughs> him. I don't want no parts of that. Right. As long as he ain't in harm's way, then I'll walk away. If he's playing with hey, fire or listen, something. I really I appreciate that. Because as a man, my son means more than anything to me. That's, that's me. Right. You feel me? That's me. And to hear you say that, that means a lot to me, bro. Right. I have my reservations about Rich, but sitting here and seeing him being respectful and saying the right things when it comes to my son, I think we all great. I wish y'all the best because I honestly do see her trying to make a difference in our son's life to paint this picture for you. Right. So it's working out for me. Coming in, I was worried that was going to go left. But you know what? I can't even front. Fizz came at me the right way. Thank you. I appreciate it. You feel me? It's all good. It's yes, all sir. good. Falling for you or you falling for me? Just know that I'm ballin', so tell your own he out of his league. I never fall for it anyway, I just be falling asleep. Soon as you tell me I love you, that's when I fall out of reach. And I'm inhaling your fragrance, you smell like that East Saint Laurent. Good lotion, good lotion. Get you in the mood like good lotion. Oh girl, you so wet, call you new ocean. I am really happy that Monique showed up and supported me as my model in my video, especially after Nikki bailed on me. But she's doing a great job today, and this is how it should be between us. There's no reason we can't be friends. All right, perfect, we got it. Cut. I'm happy to collaborate with Drew for his music video. We've been getting along and things have been going great. I've begun to have these conflicting feelings and I'm not really sure where they're coming from or why. It's almost like he's becoming the man I always knew he could be, the man that I wanted him to be. This is the man that I fell in love with seven years ago. Good lotion. Good lotion. Good video. Thank you. Good song. Appreciate you. So. So. I have to tell you something. Since we've been able to get along and co-parent, and things are going good, I'm starting to remember the man that I fell in love with 
And now that I'm getting the hang of juggling work and mommy duty again, and the fact that you're there this time to be supportive is the first time that I've had a chance to like be honest with myself. Like, I still love you, I will always love you, and I can't help but to think what life would be like as a family. I just wanted to know, like, do those thoughts ever like cross your mind? I don't know if I really see us like in that that space again, you know, because I fell out of love five years ago, you know, and you know I feel like even if we was to try that, as good as things are right now, it'll only go backwards. When I set out to make things right between me and Moniz for Cam's sake, this was the last thing I expected. I enjoy the space we're in now. You know, being friends and us being able to communicate and work things out, it's better for Cameron. And I don't really see myself going back into a place of trying to be in a real relationship with her because that was, that I just, feel like that would be detrimental to this situation. I think I'm more in a space where I just feel like, you know, us being able to co-parent and be friends. I think where we're at is what's best for Cameron. I know it sounds crazy given our past, but I just want a loving, functional family to raise our child, and I want us to be able to support one another. I guess some damage just can't be undone. I've waited for this day, like, that we could be here. Like, this is the person that I planned 21, 22 to be with forever. From the moment I found out I was pregnant, this is what I envisioned. I envisioned two parents who could get along. So all these feelings are like coming up and I don't really know like how to process them and I just don't know how to take it. Like what if like, if I just, the what if is just like the worst part. It's like, what if I never left? You can't ask yourself the what is because you're only gonna drive yourself back into those those emotions. And it's like, that's not healthy, you know? Yeah. You gotta move to what's now. And what's now is we're happy and we're friends. I'm glad that me and Monique can get along and coexist, you know, to be better parents to our son. But I'm just in a different place in my life right now. And that kind of love for Monique will just never be there again. We're in a good zone. Let's just be happy. Let's raise this little boy to be the best he could be, and let's just win. You feel me? All right. That's it. You're messing up your makeup. I know. Come on, man. You, you know I'm an emotional basket <laughs> case. You're good. I appreciate you. Thank you. Love ya. Let's go have a seat. Sure. I'll admit, after confessing my feelings to Drew, I really don't even know what I was thinking. There's a reason we didn't work out in the first place. I realized that I'm with Rich, and I really need to focus on what's in front of me. Oh, wait, here, let me get that for you, King Richie. Oh, here you go, muffin. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Rich has done everything that I've asked, including sit down with my baby daddy, which I know he really didn't want to do. So I need to stop being hung up on the past with a man that I was in love with and focus on the future with the man that I am in love with. I heard that you met with my baby daddy. I did. How did it go? It was a man-to-man -man conversation. It was a good conversation. I like Drew, and I like how he came at me. A lot different than what I thought it was going to be, so I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm glad that it was positive, mm -hmm. and I just want to say thank you for doing that for me. This is the summer of Momo, where you just be able to check all your stuff off your bucket list. Well, meet with mom. Meet with baby dad. Blase, blase. Well, the blase, blase is ring shopping, sizing. Okay. So is Monique really asking me for a wedding ring? I mean, I know Momo's a little wedding crazy and everything. I even like to joke around with it. But truth be told, you man Dallas is ready to settle down. Let's go shopping. Okay. I want a man ring. That's as big as your girl ring. I wanted to get you a titanium man with black diamonds. Do it. We have to get sized. Do it. <laughs> Take charge. You do it. I don't have to take charge. Take charge. You're the man. You are proposing to me. So you, yeah. I mean, I love Mo, and I actually want to take things to the next level. But all these demands and stuff, I can already see what kind of Brazilla she gonna be. You're stuck with me forever. Whatever. You not going nowhere. Ever.
My boy Hassan is throwing a party for Fashion Week. I'm still looking for the face of my 79 gold. This is a great opportunity for me to get some work done while I'm out here chilling in LA. You know your girl loves Fashion Week, but seeing Rich Dallas here had me a little bit distracted. Ever since Fizz told me that Monique still had feelings for him, it made me feel some type of way, especially because I've been dating Fizz for a minute now. I mean, it's straight up shady telling one man you love him while you're in love with another man. And I think that Rich needs to know. Hey, Rich. What up, baby? How are you, honey? Good, how are you? I'm good, what? thank you. Nice to see you. Always. How did you enjoy the fashion show? It was cool. It was cool. Can I have, um... A glass of champagne, please. So what's up? What's going on? Any slow motion, enjoying LA life. I'm out here partying and kicking it and working with 79, but obviously I'm out here with Momo, so. Oh. So, okay, well, let me yeah, tell I you. I feel like there's something funny going on right now. No. Because you're like, oh. Well, look, so you know I've been dating Fizz for a little while. He had asked me to do his video shoot. Right. So I kind of was like, you know, I don't really want to do this just because I have my hands in so much other stuff. So it was like the day of his video shoot. I came and supported him, and I ran into Moniz. She was in the video? She was the face of the video. Really? Yeah. Moniz is in Fizz's video? What the f is that? I'm glad that Momo getting along with her baby daddy, but being in this video is just mm, a little bit weird for me. I wasn't okay. mad about it at all because I was like, you know, it's great to see you guys co-parenting and getting along. Right. So as I stepped inside, I saw Fizz and he was like, you know, Nikki, um, there's something I want to tell you. And I was like, okay, what? He's like, you know, Moniz was being really emotional today and admit to me she was still in love with me. So I was like, oh. And I, I didn't really know what to what. You want me to repeat it to you one more time? Your girl is in love with her baby daddy. First, Moniz asked me to move to LA. Then it was getting the right apartment. Then it was meeting Mom Dukes. Then it was baby daddy. Now we ring shopping. And after all that, she's going back behind my back and telling her baby daddy she still love him? I can take a lot of BS, but that right there is taking me over the level. Yo, my thing is like, yo, just keep it 100. Right. If you have feelings, then just move like that. Yo, this girl got me looking for rings. So are you in love? Absolutely. So you feel personal. played? Absolutely. I'm out here, and then you tell your baby dad that you love him, and that y'all want to figure it out. You can't come back from this. You can't no, come I back from this. I understand it is hurtful, for sure. You know what? Richie, I hope you figure it Nikki? out. Nikki? Nice to see oh, you. Buddy. No, we just figured it out. All right, let me know how it goes. This bomb that Nikki dropped on me got me feeling all kinds of up. The girl I'm supposed to be ring shopping with is in love with somebody else. That's a huge betrayal. I really do love this girl, but this is embarrassing, it's nuts, and it hurts. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know I'm not gonna do nothing. So what did you think? Aren't I so talented and amazing and gorgeous? Aren't I like so all of the above that I'm like marriage material? I came out here, did all the stuff. You did, and I, I acknowledge it. And I was different than who I am, right? What so do you mean? I'm Richie. Okay. But for what's important, you want to do things differently. You have to change. Right. So I, I thought that I did that. You did. And I came out here. I'm not saying that and you did. And all this has been is an exercise in why I should stay the f of who I am. When I come out here and bend over backwards and do all the sh that I'm supposed to do for a yeah. relationship, I and I gotta go it. to a club where Nikki tells me that you went to your baby's f father and told that sh you love him and you're trying to figure out what's going on and what's the next steps. What? When did you feel like that was important for me to know? When was that gonna be figure important for me to know? steps with what? With him. No, I didn't say that. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's not what I said at all. Come on, man. I would definitely. Everything has to be on your time and when, how you wanna do it. Things are always mo, 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 mo. Everything That's is mo, mo, mo. True. Yeah, it is. But now oh, here I am with this in hand. 
coming here to tell you that I love you and I want you to be mine forever. And I got some news about a who, 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 who you say treats you like but you needed to go investigate that. You needed to go in and, and, and you needed closure for that. So it wasn't about me. It wasn't about moving forward with me. It wasn't about none of that, man. It wasn't about none of that. Tell that to give you the mother ring. I'm in shock. The man I'm in love with, the man that I've been planning a future with, finally gets to the point of proposing, and it's all gone in an instant. Just like that, just because of some stupid, impulsive decision to go talk to my baby daddy, knowing that that was probably gonna backfire. I'm devastated that my future with the man I'm in love with is gone, and I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive Nikki for messing that all up. I think Nikki has a death wish. All I need is you and that good love. I'm in hell in your Vicky secret. Girl, I love it when you looking decent. Good love. Good love, girl. You stay cause and come out. Especially when you naked in that good love. Tonight is a night that I've been waiting for for a very long time. So a lot of hard work and stress has gone into taking my lotion from an idea in my head to a video cross promotion and now finally a launch. I mean, I'm a happy man. partner right here, Max Lutz, for producing this hit record. Yeah. We were able to come up with a dope product called Good Lotion. Also want to give a special shout out to my baby mama in the back for being in the video. I really appreciate your love and support this time around. Thank you again. Everybody get home safe. Have a great night. One love. I'm proud of Drew and sincerely wish him the best with his lotion launch, but that's not why I came here tonight. I knew that Nikki was gonna be here and after she ruined my engagement with Rich, I wanted to see what the botch Barbie had to say for herself. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Annie, how are you? Good. Question. What's up? So let's just skip the pleasantries and get right to it. Okay, go ahead. So um, when I saw you at the video shoot, right. Were you present for my conversation with Drew? No. No, right? No. So did you hear from my mouth Absolutely anything not. that was said? No. No, but. So when you ran into my man. Right. And you stuck your nose in my business. I would never say my nose And it caused me to get a ring thrown in know, my face. Listen, I'm not done. OK. That kind of gets people up on the daily. You understand? Well, you should so talk don't, to your baby dad because no, 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 he's the no, one who no, told no, me no, that. Okay, no, listen, no, 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 when I ran into Rich, it was a casual conversation. I would never hate on your relationship or throw salt on your man or you. At the end of the day, I don't that. I'm not Nobody, but you're telling me, oh, you're yeah. sticking your nose no, in the business. Like, why are y'all my point is right now? But when you tell me, Nikki, I heard that my baby mama told me she's still in love with me. That's a conversation between y'all two. But he didn't go back to Rich and tell Rich and But he, because I ran into him. Seeing Monique get ratchet like this at my event has got me hot. I really thought we turned over a new leaf and she was beginning to be more of an adult. But watching her go after Nikki like that, it's just kind of disappointing. You know, I expected more out of her. You coming up here ruining my so disrespectful right now. Well, over some bull that you dealing with. That has nothing to do with me. I have no idea. What Your little relationship has nothing to do with me. I wish you the best with well, that. I can't control that. But I am my own person. What you can't control, control is your freaking attitude coming in right. here acting like a mad woman. That's no, what you can't control. And I decided to act like a mad woman. And my Remember that. So? Remember that. And my You've spoken to me in days. I don't so give there. a 
I know you don't. Call and so, talk to your son. That's all you need to do. Well, I do that seven days a week, baby. So don't even go there. Don't act like we don't do that already, because we definitely do. Hi, baby. Now it is time for a clap back. During a Check Yourself segment on VH1.com, Monice felt a certain type of way when watching Princess confront Tiara. Check it out. He does not want you. You fat ass, bitch. Yeah, you fat ass. You. What does she mean he's not gonna want her? He doesn't even want you, bitch. Why do you think he's made you sit in the house for two years? Princess, we are giving you an opportunity to clap back at that if you would like to. I don't even know you, but you've been going on interviews for the past two years, speaking about me, saying I don't have no backbone, like you don't know me. You know, that scene, she said some things that were triggers for me. Okay, what was the comment? Something along the lines of, you have a baby, you don't even go take care of your son, bitch. And I did not say that. You don't even have a roof over your head to speak about me. And the only thing I said, she, I she has a house. She has a house. I never said that Bino, she was Bino, okay. Bino, let me, Bino, let me take you. Bino. Bino. That's my safe word. She's gonna take a moment. Oh. Take a moment. I didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> we it's not okay, fighting right. today. Sit down, sit down, Ray. Sit down, fucking talk. I'm saying is, Monique talk a lot of shit with people she can pick on. Right. When people she can't pick on, then she want to bow down. Do what we not going what we not going to do is do that. Uh oh, what we not going to do is do that. All right, like come on. As long as she with me, she gonna have a roof because I'm rich. So I will provide that always. Okay. At this point in time, me and Monique aren't even together. But we're not gonna condone. <laughs> and what? And, 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 and what's that? Hold on. What's that, Rick? Wait, what's, what's, what's that? What is that? What? Ray, my girl on some. Ray, sit down. Ray, what's I'm not standing. I'm a fit. Baby, what's, 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 what's Let's talk. Let's talk. What I won't allow Let me say is for you. people to, to, to berate her with stuff that's not true. Okay, so she what does. She does have custody, and she does work with Fizz okay, right. on their relationship okay. as regards to their right. child. Okay. Fizz, you have something you That's wanted to clear up. She definitely got a roof over her head. She has a roof she over does. her head. She does. She has a house. She does. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer!